Good evening. Tonight, NASA embarks on the second space shuttle flight to service the Hubble Space Telescope. This 10-day mission features at least four spacewalks by four crew members to replace worn-out hardware or to upgrade the capabilities of the telescope. And so we begin our live coverage on NASA television of mission STS-82 here at the John F. Kennedy Space Center in Florida. All countdown events are on schedule and the launch team is on station here in firing room three in the launch control center. And we have the crew. Seated from the left, we have payload commander Mark Lee. He'll be performing two of the spacewalks on this mission. And we have mission specialist Stephen Hawley, flight engineer for this flight. Pilot Scott Horowitz, flying for the second time. And commander Ken Bowersox. Crew's uh, ready to go this morning. We have mission specialist Joe Tanner. Steve Smith and Greg Harbaugh. Very experienced crew, well-trained crew. Been in training for uh, two years now for this flight. They're uh, ready to go and repair the Hubble Space Telescope. We have Commander Ken Bowersox. This is his fourth flight. He has been an astronaut for about 10 years, and Bower Sox will have overall responsibility for commanding the flight. He was the pilot for the first Hubble servicing mission back in 1993. And we have pilot Horowitz. As pilot, he will assist Bower Sox at the flight controls. This is his second flight. He will assist Bowersox during the rendezvous and retrieval of the Hubble Space Telescope on flight day three. And we have mission specialist Mark Lee taking a brief rest. Mission specialist Joe Tanner. Tanner's making his second flight. He will be, this will be his first spacewalk. He'll be teaming up with Greg Harbaugh and replacing one of the three fine guidance sen sensors on Hubble during the second EVA. And we've got uh, Mission Specialist Steve Hawley. Hawley's making his uh, fourth flight today. He's serving as the flight engineer and will assist the commander and pilot with ascent and reentry checklists. And we have a Mission Specialist Greg Harbaugh. He's making his fourth flight. He will be teamed up with Joe Tanner to perform two of the spacewalks. Harbaugh performed a spacewalk on STS-54 and we have Mission Specialist 5, Steve Smith, making his second flight. He'll be a first-time spacewalker on this flight. He'll be teamed up with Mark Lee in replacing the two instruments that have a combined weight of about 1,500 pounds. saying goodbye to members of the uh, flight crew team. This is shuttle launch control at T minus two hours, 46 minutes and counting. We've got uh, some views now of the uh, flight crew now at the launch pad.
channel should remain silent except for emergency calls. And for the flight crew during our after context, uh, adjust your appropriate volumes uh, for comfort and then don't change the audio panel switch configuration. Uh, mission management team. Uh, Jim, the uh, MMT is working. No issues. You're clear to launch. Copy that. And uh, Discovery, uh, Ken, you and the team have a great mission and uh, do some good uh, Hubble upgrades. We'll see you back here in uh, 10 days. All right, Jim, thanks for the good wishes. We sure appreciate all the hard work that went into getting Discovery and our uh, payload ready for launch. I think uh, with a little luck, in a couple of weeks, the best telescope in the universe will be even better than it is now. And NTD, you're clear to launch. Copy, thank you. All personnel, launch countdown clock will begin in two minutes. Mark. A profile test of the orbiter's aerosurfaces has started. These are being moved through a pre-programmed pattern to verify that they are ready for launch. T minus three minutes, 30 seconds and counting. The three main en engines are being gimbaled and positioned for launch. And the gaseous oxygen uh, vent hood. Uh, uh, Copy that. The gaseous oxygen vent hood at the top of the tank is being retracted away at this time. OTC, close and lock your visors, initiate O2 flow, and we wish you all a fantastic voyage. Good luck, gentlemen. Yeah, let's go for auto sequence of T-minus 25 seconds. 20. T-minus 15 seconds and counting. All systems go. T minus so 10, 9, 8, 7. We have a go for engine start. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition and liftoff. Discovery now on its way to service NASA's Hubble Space Telescope. Houston now controlling. We're all programmed, Houston. Roger roll, Discovery. Roll maneuver is complete aboard Discovery. The vehicle's now in a heads-down position on course for a 28 and a half degree, 309 nautical mile orbit. Discovery already uh, one, one and a half miles in altitude and downrange from the launch site, uh, one and a half miles as well. Three main engines uh, beginning to throttle down now as the orbiter prepares to pass through the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere. The three engines now at 67% of rated thrust. The engines now beginning to throttle back up. Go ahead, throttle up. Go ahead, throttle up. The three liquid-fueled engines are now back at full throttle. Discovery's altitude is 13 miles, downrange from the launch site, 10 and a half miles. Now traveling 1,800 miles per hour. The three good uh, electrical systems or fuel cells and hydraulic systems providing the hydraulic power to the orbiter's uh, engines. The solid rocket boosters beginning to uh, tail off with their chamber pressure standing by for burnout and separation of the uh, twin solid rocket boosters.
SRB separation is confirmed. Two minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Discovery is now downrange from the launch site of 40 miles at an altitude of 35 miles. Performance nominal. Performance thus far in the launch phase has been as expected. Three good hydraulic systems and fuel cells, and the main engines are still performing uh, as expected at 104% of rated thrust. Commander Ken Bowersox and pilot Scott Horowitz watching over uh, all of the orbiter systems from the forward portion of the flight deck. Uh, directly behind them, flight engineer Steve Hawley and mission specialist Joe Tanner, while Greg Harbaugh, Mark Lee, and Steve Smith uh, ride down on the mid-deck of the orbiter. And Houston Discovery on the doors. Uh, as you can see, the port door is opening just fine. Uh, on the first opening, we went straight from uh, uh, closed to, to blank. We didn't get the ready on the closing and the subsequent opening. Uh, we got the ready. Roger, we copy and we like what we see. 